Be careful, they're very hot. There you go. You got yourself a nice little survival stove. It's really easy. Now since my... You'll see. Okay? Ready? What's in there? You'll see. Here you go there. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a nice quick little video. Um, very, I want to share something with you guys, something I've come across and I thought it was so neat. Um, it's a survival fire. So think about it. Your, your power goes out in your house, right? It's minus 20 outside. You're cold, so cold. Um, and you just want a little source of heat. You know that you can't make a, an actual wood fire in your house and burning most combustibles in your house is not very safe. So I have something, I mean, this is not going to be a long-term solution. Um, this could just be a temporary solution for you for a few hours. Um, this is also something if you were to, to get a different can system, something you keep into your vehicle, um, just in case something did happen and you want to keep so, so this so realistically, it, it's so easy. You can also do it um, a bunch of different ways. Um, basically, what you do need is at least one can, two preferably, a smaller one um, and a bigger one. So the smaller one's actually gonna go inside the bigger one. Um, like I said, any metal can's gonna work. Uh, you don't want to use plastic. That plastic will melt. You don't really want to use glass. Um, glass could break. I mean, if you had to, you could use glass. Um, now, what I'm going to show you is with stuff that you should be able to find around the house. Uh, you might not be able to. You might not have all these things. But if you have these things, this can help you. So what it is, you're going to need a soup can. You're going to need uh, some rubbing alcohol. Now, this one is 70%. There's also a 99%. Um, the 70% doesn't burn as hot, but it will burn a lot longer. Whereas the 90% burns a lot hotter, but doesn't last as long. Next, you're going to need a wicking material. So you can use toilet paper, you can use cotton balls, you can use a t-shirt, you can use some socks. Um, and that's it. That's, that's all there is to the stove. Um, now for the two can method, you're also going to need something to go into the bigger can. And the point of the two can system is that your outside can doesn't get hot at all. And, but even with just one can, as long as you pack your wicking material tight enough, the bottom of the can doesn't get hot. Now, normally you could, you could fill the second can up with sand, beans, rice. Um, I got some kosher salt, so that's what I'm gonna use. So let's go ahead and start building this stove. Okay. You want, you're gonna help? Okay. So, I like to use food cans, because let's say you're hungry. Might as well use up some food cans, then you can cook them right afterwards. So, uh, we'll crack open the small one first. We're gonna dump it out. And that's why I brought a pot, just so I can put all, all the ingredients in here, and then I can have this for lunch after. Whoa, watch out! Okay. Anyways, so just cut it off. I've got my two cans right here. Nice and empty. So... Now, what I'm going to do is, first things first, is I want to... This is going to be our burner can. So we want to put our wicking material inside here. Okay, let's get this. Cardboard out. There you go. Cardboard's out. Now, obviously, it's gonna be way too big, right? Too big? So, that's. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rip. This part. Yes, it is. You're right. So, there you go. So, we're going to shove. And we got the toilet paper inside there. That's going to be our wick. So, we can drop inside the can. And we got some space. Now, I might even want to lift this up 
in that can a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is pour some of the salt. Like I said, you can use sand. Or I'll use different kind of materials right here. This is what I got in the house. So, and it's winter time. I can't go dig up sand. Just can't. Okay. Got a nice salt base right there. Huh? Just got a little bit of salt on the bottom there. Okay. So we got some salt right there. Did that. If you want, you can put it right down here now. I'll put this down here too. All right, so now I'm going to fill the sides. So, there we go. The can's filled up with salt. So that's just going to give us um, a nice fireproof barrier so this other can doesn't get hot at all. All right. All right, so here oh, is where you oh, drop the alcohol in. So you want it to soak right in, right? Yeah. And these stoves are actually kind of nice because with one, um, even with this amount, you'll probably get about a, a two hour burn time. And I mean, if you have enough alcohol, you, you can get quite a bit of time out of it. So here we go. This should be it, right? So let's uh, light it, ready to light it. So again, just match, you can have a spark, anything like that. Be careful, they're very hot. There you go. You got yourself a nice little survival stove that's really easy. Now since my tabs didn't work, all I'm going to use for cooking is a couple more cans. But we're going to prop them up a little bit. Right? And there you go, super simple survival stove. Obviously, burning any kind of combustibles within your house um, is not the safest thing to do. This, uh, I mean, you're not getting a lot of the harmful smoke. Obviously, anytime you combust, do any kind of combustibles within your house, um, it is gonna, it's gonna take away the oxygen within the room. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated room. Again, this is only a survival situation. Now, if you wanted to uh, make one of these to keep in your vehicle, what you need to find yourselves are the quart can of uh, paint, but the ones that haven't been used before because they have a sealable lid. You can actually put a whole toilet paper roll in there. You can even put the alcohol right in there or you can keep the alcohol separate. And uh, there you go, you got yourself a easy little survival stove. Very, very easy. Um, and then you cook yourself a nice meal. You can even do this outside, um, but generally if it's gonna be really cold, you're not gonna wanna be outside anyways, unless you're in the garage. But yeah, like even touching the side of the can, so. So, right here, no heat whatsoever. Nice and cool to touch, so I could even like, you know, I could even walk around with this realistically. Oh, look at that, I need to go find something. Like, you know, now put it out. Boom, there you go, that's it, it's out. You got yourself a nice little survival fire. Thanks for watching guys, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe down at the bottom. If you've been around for a while, you know I like that nice little thumbs up at the bottom. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.